Hi, welcome back uh, in the second video of the second series of uh, IFR flight planning using SimBrief Pilot to ATC and directly uploaded into A320 Neo or A320 NX uh, M Mac 2 or MCDU. Okay, so in the second video, we are now uh, going to do the flight preparations uh while well, initially we already uh, set our flight plan uh, if you remember we set up our flight plan departing from um, strong new orleans runway to nine and then arriving we'll be arriving in uh, hartsfield jackson atlanta runway to seven right that's the plan and uh, in new orleans there's no sid it will be direct road uh, for approaching uh, Atlanta, we use uh, standard terminal arrival or star Gandalf 2. Okay, approach will be uh, runway 27 right ILS uh, transition via UU. Uh, airline will be United Airlines 5300, flight level 39,000 feet, fuel will and payload will be provided by SimBrief. Okay, so that is what we set up uh, via SimBrief and then recreate the flight plan in the uh, Pilot to ATC. So if you see in the Pilot to ATC, uh, we already create the flight plan, though it's a bit different versus the FS2020, especially after Schuller. We are provided the jungle and qubit and then you, uh, you, you. Uh, in FS2020, usually this is not, uh, they can actually give you direct from Schuller to you, you. Okay, so that's the only difference. Uh, we already load uh, uh, save this one and let's say we try to connect later on okay after we inside the aircraft uh, in Navigraph we also prepare the similar route uh, just in case and then for information purposes and also the the chart uh, for Atlanta uh, the ILS, usually this is the most important, especially the frequency of 111.3 that we have to set up inside the Mac 2. So if we need it, we can pull out this chart below uh, very easy. Okay, so let's go back and to FS2020. We already loaded here and uh, we select uh, New Orleans and let's select uh, B6 uh, gate as departure. Uh, and then timing, I think 6.30 should be fine. This is going to be evening flight, so we're going to depart uh, with sunset setting and then uh, arrive really in the dark uh, at Atlanta. Okay, so that is the one that we need to set only, which is the airport, the gate, and the time probably, and the liveries if you want to, but that's it. No weight or payload setting, no arrival, no approach, anything. So blanks, uh, slate uh, kind of programming. So we're going to directly uh, import the flight plan into MacDo without using any export import via the flight plan uh features of fs2020 so we don't usually we we do it the import in the world map and then uh yeah so then we can set it uh, directly into mac2 but this one we import directly from simbrief actually to mac2 because mac2 can only import from simbrief at this moment if you want to export import uh, the flight plan uh, from like Pilot ATC or Navigraph, you have to go to world map and then load the flight plan over there. Okay, so here we are at Atlanta. Uh, sorry, in New Orleans. Uh, we I'm using the add-on. Uh, it's very nice. So there's some people in terminal. So let's see outside. So this is our, uh, our plane, and let's connect the jetway first. Okay, and let's play some sound effect.
Good evening, passengers. This is the pre-boarding announcement. We are now inviting those passengers with small children and any passengers requiring special assistance to begin boarding at this time. Please have your boarding pass and identification ready. Regular boarding will begin in approximately 10 minutes' time. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, ladies. Have a safe flight. Hi, Cap. The aircraft has been refueled. She is ready for you. Thank you. Okay, we are inside the aircraft with the captain and the first officers. And if you hear the beeps, basically that's uh, pilot ATC connected to uh, the simulations. RFS 2020. So let's start the preparations. Let's start setting up. Okay. It will be uh, evening flight, so we're gonna do some blue lights uh, ready. Uh, just don't want to stumble around the uh, knobs in the dark, so let's light up the aircraft. It's a bit uh, more energy, I guess, but should be fine. Okay, everything is okay. Let's go to top panels. And let's check the APU. Okay. Now we switch master suite, APU master suite on. And let's wait for a flap open here. Oops, sorry. I didn't show you the, the things, the screen. Flip open, so we're now ready to start the APU. Uh, usually we do some checking, like engine, uh, oil is uh, 25 quarts, should be okay, bleed air, fine. Uh, pressure, electrical charging, here, showing the charge. Uh, haven't simulated the discharge, so. Fuel is still 20,000 pounds, okay. Flap open, APU is ramping up. Uh, air conditioning set normal, 24. Uh, uh, oxygen, emergency oxygen, 1700 PSI, correct? We'll break, I think it's, uh, we just check the pressure here. Uh, flight control, flaps set, uh, uh, retracted. Okay, that's it. So go back to uh, the door, I guess you want to monitor that. Uh, that's it, and then we continue with the light off procedures from the left to the right. Cruise supply, uh, adheres on bed, let's wait. Okay, adheres two on bed, this is first officer, this is captain's side, this is backup. Okay, back up on bed. So let's switch on the navigation light. Oops, it doesn't connect. So, and then the strobe to auto. Seat belt on, no smoking, emergency light. Uh, then let's turn on all the pumps. Can check the engine. Okay, can check engine 2. 
Okay, so we are ready. Uh, that's it. So we are now ready to program Mac 2. So before that, we go to second screen and upload the flat plan. So we validate to green, so it's okay. And then we file the flat plan to ATC. So we wait until this green light uh, light up. By the way, uh, I'm using um, uh, Windows uh, Insider program. The bad thing is they always update uh, frequently. You know, there's a lot of updates. And when they update, they erase or delete all my voices that I've set uh, via rec edit. So it's kind of the, the the here you can see in the speech or sorry in the voice here the list is many many names here it will be gone only three name three voices left so that's quite frustrating so I have to reprogram again the fire rec edit so every time the windows update okay uh, okay that's it so we file uh, it is sim is connected so we can actually try to file for clearance so let's set the com1 by clicking this okay United 5300 ready to copy IFR clearance United 5300 is cleared to Kilo Alpha Tango Lima is filed. Expect departure runway 29. Climb and maintain 4000 feet. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Departure on 123.85. Squawk 4206. United 5300 is cleared to Kilo Alpha Tango Lima is filed. Climb and maintain 4000 feet. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Departure on 123.85. Squawk 4206. United 5300. United 5300, United 5300, read back correct. Altimeter 29er 9er 2, contact ground on 121.9er when ready for pushback, enjoy your evening. Altimeter 29er 9er 2, ground on 121.9er, United 5300. Okay, we set uh, the squawk given and then the target altitudes after departure. We have to stay around uh, one, uh, the same heading with the runway until above 1000. So that is at the ATC directions. So we are ready now to program the MACD because we are already setting up the whole things uh, via the ATC. So we have green light. So let's check the engine, correct? And then enough uh, database updated. Uh, then we go to Mac2. Uh, if you haven't done any sim brief upload, you go here, option, and then AOC, and then sim brief. Uh, you put your username or pilot ID here. I already done mine, so I put my username, but then they converted the pilot ID. And then uh, once you've done that, you go back to the main menu and then go Atsu and then AOC menu and then init press here. Okay, so here you click the init that uh, request, the blue one. So you will uh, import it from Simbrief, the departure New Orleans, Atlanta, estimated time, uh, and that's it. And then the second page is auto land, uh, you will see out the uh, block time, uh, one, uh, one hour, 34 minutes, and fuel remaining right now. So we're going to change that. Uh, after this so we go back to AOC menu and once you init press you go to performance weight and balance so here you're going to load the fuel currently 20,000 pounds so we're going to load around 12,000 pound so here you can see it's already loaded 12.500,000 pound and on the second page you're going to load the payload currently up, up, you see here is one two three pound that thousand pound if you load it it's becoming one for one uh, thousand pound so you're done with the initial setting now you're ready to init, uh, upload the, or download basically the 
flight plan so you go to init page so here if you haven't set anything the init page will be different if it's you already done and something here it will be kind of uh, having a different things so here uh, you just click init request here it will download from Simbrief, uh, from New Orleans, Atlanta, Alternate KBNA, uh, United 5300, cost index 8, flight cruise level, uh, flight level 390 or 39,000 feet. So you're done with the init page, you go to flight plan. So sorry if I'm a bit fast, but just not want to make the video too long. In the flight plan, you already got the basic uh, route from Armstrong, New Orleans to GCV. This is the rec uh, waypoint, and Peyton is the rec waypoint. And this is the last waypoint, which is Shari for transitions to the uh, star uh, to Atlanta. Okay, so we just need to set up the departure runway, which is to nine here, and then insert because there's no SID here. And then uh, once you're done setting up the departure, the only thing left is the star and approach. So we go to Atlanta here and then set the rifle. You select uh, so 27 right. And here you are given a choice. You you choose Gandalf 2 because we use that Gandalf 2. And you, you uh, fire you, you. This is the... Uh, entrance to the approach okay and the transition is not beyond so you have to select the transition via shiri right the last the last uh, waypoint that uh, before the star so you select shiri here and you have to redo again the option to the seven right and then you select gandalf again and you, you of course again just to reconfirm now it's becoming ls27 right you you gondal gondal 2 and shiri okay so this is the correct one so insert so now you can see uh, from new orleans gcv direct Peyton direct direct to shiri and then frodo uh, bilbo begins malk gondal haller uh, schuler now here after schuler uh, there is two more uh, Yeah, I think it's uh, ready to to uh, load the passengers. Okay, so now we have to set from uh, it's jingle. Let me check uh, jingle. Yeah, and qubit. So after Schuller, uh, we're gonna add a bit. Uh, a jingle G and uh, let me play some boarding verse. Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. May I see? May I see your boarding pass? Okay, and also we're gonna set up the luggage and the. Uh, Yep, the catering and luggage now is loading. Oh, the luggage is not the baggage. Okay. Okay, they're gonna load the baggage, baggage and uh, catering. Okay. So now continue with this uh, setting and then jingle, uh, jingle, G N G L E. Okay, let's put in the waypoint. Uh, and then, uh, oh yes, yeah, so select this one, insert. And uh, let's check if it's already inserted. Shooter. No, cannot do that. Okay. Uh, I think because it's uh, a given route, so you, you are not supposed to kind of. Uh, change it unfortunately and that's the only difference uh, between the this flight plan and uh, the one in pilot 280c is this that one is jingle and uh, so unfortunately we cannot either 
delete uh, jingle and qubit also in uh because it's a public published procedures okay so yeah so if you see here there is a two waypoint here is different from the mcdo mcdo is directing you directly from here uh we we can follow exactly with this but you have to set it as a as a direct road rather than a direct route rather than a star approach okay so that's it so i think if you see in um you're gonna do some manual flight planning uh later on so let's see here so i think if we look that's correct except for the shoulder directly to you you uh here in the pilot to atc might need you to override that and go uh to follow the first path okay that's the only difference and unfortunately cannot be uh changed you know okay um for thousands i think we finish and constraint on fd constraint on okay so we continue with the setting uh once we setting the okay the so make do let me check let me close the compartment <laughs> sir be careful please put your bag under the seat Okay, we continue with our secondary plan. Of course, there's none here. Uh, then Ratnav page, as I mentioned, is 111.3. You got it from the approach charts uh, to Atlanta and put it here. Uh, just to ensure the ILS is set. And there is a uh, uh, thing, the init page B. Okay, so in it page B, you're gonna get the uh, zero fuel weight and center gravity. That's correct. Uh, fuel planning 10,000 pound without uh, alternate route. So confirm. And tailwind uh, in our sim brief. Uh, let's say sim brief. That's it. So we set the. So we just re so we we just set the Ratnav page just now the one 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 point three and then we now already in it page B we already enter our uh, zero fuel weight and center of gravity and block uh, fuel and then the tailwind in the sim brief will be uh, kind of T twenty nine T twenty nine let's put it. Nine. Here. Okay, that's complete our initializations, and the last page will be us checking the progress page FL three nine zero. Uh, high accuracy zero point zero uh, nautical miles, so it's okay. Uh, fuel prediction, of course, it's you can check here. FOB is twelve point five. And the last page is the performance page. We need to program it using the calculators. Um, before that, I think we need to get the weather forecasts. Uh, let's send it and let's get it later on. Okay. Um, we need to take my Android phone and program uh, the performance page okay and here okay take off come on take off uh, it's already there print uh, the wind will be in uh, What is the wind here? That's very strange uh, notations over there. Uh, 
Let's get the, this information too. This uh, departures here. Uh, put the key M I and send. I think the printout is here. Let's see if it makes sense. Uh, the wind is a bit odd here. What is what is mean? What the hitting what? I don't know. What is the hitting? Yeah. Uh, let me confirm again. Uh, to, oops, sorry. And then I'll see my new message received. What is mean is ah uh, that's zero. It's forty degree. And 11 knot. Temperature will be 23. And uh, it will be 3002. Uh, 3001 here. Well, can can try to just slightly here also. 3001. Let's use the matter data. Uh, 10, 16 elevation is for feet runway length uh, let's check in the uh, figure of the chart uh, for New Orleans it's uh, 3080 meters okay it's in meter here the calculator runway heading is 286 slope none Ton will be 64 if I'm mistaken. Yep. Done. And then uh, anti ice non, uh, air conditioning on. And uh, we, we got already the setting. Okay. We wait for the load sheet. Delay at about a half hour. All right, thanks. Uh, Hi, guys. Here's the load sheet for you. Thanks. No problem. Have a safe flight. Okay, let's close the door and let's continue again uh, to performance page. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We'll be ready shortly. Okay, I will hold. Okay, uh, one plus F. Flex stem is five nine. I I I follow this one. Probably not. You can see it's the calculator here. Um, yep. So. 59 in the flex stem and 146 is v1 uh 150 is vr 152 is v2 the transition will be 18000 in us okay we complete the setting now we are uh, updating the, the just for the right call out 146 correct 150 correct the last one is not okay that's it so we close again this uh let's go back so now we're setting the mc2 uh, for performance that's the last one that we need to check Except the uh, progress page, of course, and uh, we set up already the Q and H in uh, here, and then in the backup uh, altimeters, uh, FD constraint on, uh, trim. Yeah, we need to trim to almost thirty, uh, some twenty nine. 
and that's it i think we are ready uh, on our preparation uh, flight preparations on the plane we're going to wait for the completion of the boarding uh the passengers i think the last one so let's check it how is the boarding process almost done Hey guys, are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Captain Crew, arm doors and cross check. Hi, Captain. The cabin is secured. All doors, doors cross armed and cross checked. We're ready to go. Okay, let's disconnect the jetway. Uh, jetway disconnect over there. Let's put dashboard and imports from Simbrief. Okay, so we got the dashboard. Okay, so you ready? Go ahead, flight deck. Confirm all ground checks complete, and we are clear to pressurize the hydraulics. All ground checks are complete, and you are clear to pressurize the hydraulics. Okay, we're gonna go ask for uh, pushback and engine start clearance from ATC. So we're going to, or in the second screen, you got to choose this one and uh, yeah, request it. United 5300 ready for pushback and engine start. United 5300 pushback and engine start approved. Pushback and engine start approved United 5300. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. Parking brake released. Push it back. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. Animado. Adiers. Nav. Fuel quantity. Set. Takeoff data. Set. Barrel ref. Three, zero, zero, one, set. Three, zero, zero, one, set. Down to the line. Echo Papa uniformed. Okay, uh, Echo Papa uniform Southwest, uh, by that evening. Southwest 16 Yes, sir. Looks like our uh, gate's occupied or they're holding it down. Uh, they're saying at least 15 minutes. Uh, with, uh, Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. See that gate. Okay, we'll let you know where. Uh, You're clear behind and you can start your engines at your discretion. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. Off. Before start, checklist complete. Starting engine two. Ground taxi to park via Tango. Or via Tango, Southwest, to 120. Southwest 609 Brown, allow company to park at Bravo 8, then push it through. After company in the Bravo 8, push it through. Push 
Mac, complete set parking brakes, please. Parking brake set. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. We will see you on the right side with the beam. Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signal. Thanks, have a good flight. See you later. Starting engine one. Start your and tighten by pulling on the end. Secure your own mask set. before it's set. Together. Check. Pitch trim. Your seat bottom cushion may be set. Set. the Rudder trim. device. Zero. Pull up After start, the checklist cushion. complete. Upon exiting the aircraft, place your arms around the cushion and hold on. Okay, we're going to request for taxi to ATC. Smoking is not permitted in the cabin or lavatory. Cabin lights will now be turned off. Reading light buttons are located above your seat. Thank, Thank you for your attention. 100 request taxi to runway 29. United 5300 taxi to runway 29 via taxiways Foxtrot, Echo, Sierra, hold short runway 29, and runway 29, and runway 29. Taxi to runway 29 via taxiways Foxtrot, Echo, Sierra, hold short runway 29, and runway 29, and runway 29 United 5300. Okay, we're given the... Uh... Next zero to in pilot to ATC or plane uh, around here. We have to go forward and then turn left and to runway 29. And we're going to cross the runway 29 itself. Okay. Light control check. Pull up. Pull down. Neutral. Pull left. Pull right. Neutral. Rudder. Pull left. Pull right. Neutral. Okay, 
is uh, 144, runway 1 to your left, thank you, Tango, Kilo, 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 Great check. Pressure zero. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Check. Check. Flight instruments. Check. Check. Briefing. Confirmed. Flap setting. Config 1 plus F. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, flex 10. V1, 1, 4, 6, VR, 1, 5, 0, V2, 1, 5, 2. V1, 1, 4, 6, VR, 1, 5, 0, V2, 1, 5, 2, ATC. Set. ECAM memo. Take off no blue. Down to the line. I don't know what's something wrong with the controller, but the uh, brake is... If I break it, uh, it seems to be uh, kind of... Uh, let me check for a while, okay? Just wait for a minute. Chat, I need to check my... I think there's something... A problem with my rudder here. Uh, seems to be sensitivity is uh, kind of off, you see? It's really off. Uh, I don't know why the center is there. Uh, I think I need to increase the dead zone a bit. Uh, yeah, but that's not realistic. Extremity dead zone. Uh, the brake seems to be off too. Uh, let's see. I think it has to be like Okay, let me check the... ESP. I think the setting here is off. Setting. It's not the center, right? Ground south of 3297, coming up on 3 south of Zulu. 3297, ground, and we now look at Mike 2, taxi via Lima, Lima 1. I think... Uh, 9 left, Mike 2, south of 3297. Ground Delta 392, switch it for 10 Lima. Okay, let's see. I'm um, not sure why it's uh, here or it's kind of uh, reset here. I don't know. Okay. 
It's on. And this one, I think I remember this. United 5300 clear to cross runway 29. Clear to cross runway 29, United 5300. Ground stop was 2692 4 North. Okay, 33, turn left on echo back to 8 right. Left turn on echo to 8 right, Delta 633. United 5300 contact tower on 119.5. Have a good flight. Tower on 119.5, United 5300. Okay, we're gonna request takeoff uh, in second screen. So we're gonna to request uh, rebatchable. Yep, active runway. Tower United 5300 ready for departure runway 29. United 5300 winds are calm cleared for takeoff. Runway 29 squawk 4206 maintain runway heading until above 1000 feet then turn right heading 086 to intercept course. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 29 squawking 4206 maintain runway heading until above 1000 feet then right to 086 United 5300. Below the line. Cabin crew, be seated for takeoff. Takeoff runway. Confirmed. Confirmed. Cabin crew. Advised. Engine mode selector. Normal. Pax. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. 
Ready. Ready. Take off. Manflex SRS runway auto thrust loop. Check. Thrust set. After takeoff line checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Yeah, that's uh, New Orleans, uh, Armstrong New Orleans on the right side of our airplane and I think New Orleans, I think it's on the, yeah, it's just going to pass the city and we're climbing to 13000 as assigned by ATC.
1,500 climb and maintain flight level 230. Climb and maintain flight level 230, United 5300. United 5300 contact Houston Center on 127.0. Enjoy. Center on 127.0, take care, United 5300. Center United 5300, climb into flight level 230. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, checklist complete. You have control. I have control.
United 5300, contact Houston Center on 127.65, have a good evening. Center on 127.65, United 5300. Center United 5300, climbing to flight level 330. United 5300, good evening. Sport 4206. Sport 4206, United 5300. United 5300, contact Houston Center on 126.8 today. Center on 126.8, United 5300. Center on 126.8, United 5300. Center United 5300, climbing to flight level 330. United 5300, good evening. Squawk 4206. Squawk 4206, United 5300. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign, so you are free to move about the cabin. However, please note that we do recommend you fasten your seatbelts at all times when you are seated in case of turbulence. Thank you. Okay, we are climbing to 330 uh, flight level. By then, we probably instructed to 390 and flight cruise level. So until then, uh, we're gonna announce stop of climb and then uh, we probably pause the video and continue with the top of descent and approach okay see you Transition for the RLS approach to 127 right before VV transition at Hawksfield Jackson Atlanta Hour. 
after Putin killed Dalit SH Balani. Expect the GNDLF2 arrival with a Shire transition for the ILS approach to runway 27 right with a Uni transition after Putin cleared the wrecked Shire United 5300. Let's uh, late maybe moderate stop in the front to uh, 33 to 27. United 5300 climb and maintain flight level 390. Climb and maintain flight level 390, United 5300. Expedite climb to flight level 390. Expedite climb to flight level 390, United 5300. Thank you. 